When we arrived at Escuela Secundaria Tecnica Mexico, the teachers were waiting for the Council of Management to conclude an emergency meeting. That meeting was prompted after members voiced their concerns of political interference in their elections. The meeting took about three hours, and outgoing National President Luke Palacio addressed the crowd. What we are concerned about is that some of us apparently are fueling this buyout mentality that is going on in our country. They buy our votes, they buy our loyalty, they buy our freedom, and we need to stand up against it. And with the threat of political interference, the Council of Management proposed that teachers vote whether or not to proceed with the elections. Each branch will meet with their branch president. The branch president has a list of members, and only those members who are eligible to vote today will vote to determine if the election proceeds. 630 financial members cast their votes. An overwhelming 544 voted for the elections to proceed, 85 voted against. And with the memberships go ahead, the candidates for the post of national president began their campaigning. I'm going to advocate for every one of you. It doesn't matter which branch you come from, it doesn't matter who you vote for, it doesn't matter what ethnicity you belong to. Through my strong leadership, I will be advocating for every member of BNTU. Whether you vote for me today or not, I will advocate for you if I get in that position. If elected as your new president, I am committed to work arduously to attain some goals. Continuous international teacher training that will initiate this year. Represent the educational labor force. Concentrate on teachers' key issues, such as loan, scholarships, grievances, etc. I am not saying you are not doing anything at all. I am saying that we need to be more aggressive in dealing with the issues that directly affect our members. Just like how we are able to galvanize and mobilize our people, you, our teachers, to go out to fight for good governance and accountability and transparency in government. We need that same energy, that same enthusiasm to fight for the daily needs and the issues that affect our teachers. So 686 teachers lined up ready to cast their votes, ready to choose their next leader amidst concerns of political interference. The voting began at around 2.30 in the afternoon and lasted more than an hour. Immediately after, the ballot boxes were taken to the counting room. It was not until after 6 o'clock that Kathleen Flowers, the chair of the election committee, made the announcement to an already agitated crowd. At the end of the election, I will tell you the results shortly, because we have now completed the counting, I'm asking that we all give them a round of applause, please. It was hotly contested, and you'll find that out right now. Mrs. Elena Smith earned 349 of the votes. Mr. Troy Coleman earned 197 of the votes, and Mr. Mara Mesh earned 140 of the votes. And with that, Senator Elena Smith, who has been involved in the unionist movement for more than 20 years, is the leader of the most powerful and fearless union in the country. My plan is to continue to work with our members and to work with them and to do what it is that our members want. When I need to stand for them, I will do that. When I need to work for them, otherwise, I will do that. But it's not about me or Brother Luke. It's about BNTU and our members. They will tell us how to go about doing their business. What, what is the first thing you intend to institute? Do you have any ideas or for, to pitch to your members to see if they will support your uh, ideas as to how to improve the union? Well, one of the main things for me is communication and education. 
and communication in the form of better technology. I think we need to be um, moving up with the century as you know, time is going by. We see that our younger people, our younger teachers are into technology. As a union, we must become that as well for them so that we can benefit them. So my focus will be education and communication. Now, when Mr. Luke speak or spoke for the union, whether or not the persons in the public liked or hated him, whatever uh, feelings they had against him, the nation took notice of what he had to say because he represented one of the, the, or the strongest union. Do you foresee you have that ability to fill his shoes to speak for the union whenever they take any positions, whether or not it is adversarial to the government? I have no problems with that. As long as my membership give us the mandate, I will go by that. It doesn't matter who likes it or who doesn't like it. If the members say so, that's what I'm going by. I'm not afraid to speak out, I'm not afraid to stand up. You've been part of the union for so many years now. You ran previously for this post and was defeated. How do you feel now actually winning this, this very important post? Well, I feel that the extra years that I took to um, qualify myself, and when I say qualify, I don't mean papers and things, but to get more experience, I think has helped me and my members and the members of the BNT on a whole have seen where I have grown and they have seen that, you know what, Elena Smith is about BNTU, not about any politics. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.